So friends, you see here, this is the free hotel voucher which was given for stay in Dubai. And then you also have ticket and the visa and transport formation slate. So these were the documents which were provided when I boarded from Toronto for Dubai. This is what you will get if you are getting access to the Dubai Connect. And this can be easily found on the Emirates website and also on your ticket. If you are booking your flight to Emirates and you have a long layover in Dubai, like in our case, when we traveled from Canada to India, we had a long layover over which was uh, more than 10 hours so in that case you have this option called by connect visa request so basically by connect in my case this was something new so i had to chat with emirates uh, support uh, team to understand how this works and in my case i'm a canadian citizen so the process was much more simpler than a uh, citizen of many different country in case uh, you are from any other country other than canada you it's better that check with the uh, helpline staff on what the request is. Like as you can see here, to request this Dubai visa, which is Dubai Connect, you need to send this document to Dubai Connect at Emirates.com. So your passport, a photograph, name of the passenger, booking, reference detail, ticket number and email address. All this has to be shared. In my case, I did not have to do this for two reasons. One, I have an account with Emirates. So I just had to log into my account and all our details were already there with Emirates. And uh, being a Canadian citizen, I did not provide any of these as you can see on the screen all i had to do was go to my ticket see if i am eligible for dubai connect you can see on the screen i was eligible for and i just had to click and confirm so being a canadian citizen all i had to do was on arrival present my passport at the immigration counter and uh, stamping was done and i was also given a sim card free of cost this is something which might be interesting to you you don't have to look for a sim card in dubai as soon as the immigration stamping is done the officer will hand over a sim card if you are two adults, get two different SIM card, one MBE, you will be able to use for the time you are there in Dubai. And this Dubai Connect, what all you get? First thing first is that you get a complimentary stay at hotel to take rest and uh, food and beverage. The hotel is again complimentary. The transportation to the hotel to and fro is again complimentary. And then once you check yourself into the hotel, uh, you want to go and visit uh, uh, Dubai or explore Dubai, have that option where you don't have to spend extra money. And uh, if you're going out of course you will be paying for those expenses having food outside but within hotel where you're going to stay everything will be provided to you and uh, they have super excellent facility where you will be really taken care of so friends be aware of this dubai connect option if you are from any other country you may have to have this visa thing done prior and as you can see here this dubai connect visa will only be processed 14 days prior to departure and up to 48 hours before departure so make sure have have this uh, valid visa in case it is required and uh, read this part completely and that way you know what exactly you need and like always if you are confused you don't know what the answer is it is good point to call the helpline or chat with them and know what exactly is required from your end by giving all details like your nationality and others so i hope find this video valuable and informative do share with your friends if they are traveling and have a long layover flight uh, if there are any other flight where you have such options do comment and let me know if there are any more airlines i would be interested to know about uh, information thanks guys